Welcome back to So Much Black. Scissors. Especially how to use high quality scissors that are able to cut Dyneema and Kevlar and other high performance fabrics. What's important for a scissor to be able to cut those materials? And this special type of scissors, why are they lasting a longer time than usual? Those four, those are from Robuso aus Solingen, Germany. Solingen is known for their knife and scissor making. They got me those scissors for free. So those four are the ones I didn't have to pay for. Those three I had to pay for with my own money. This here is my lowest quality scissors. Those are just some paper cut scissors from Amazon. Um, they don't fit into my hand and they are also very low grade steel and cutting surface. These scissors from Mundal are better quality. I got those in my sewing supplies store and those were the most expensive shares I could get there. Um, those are the only ones, however, I could use because they fit into my hand. With scissors, you have to really take care that your fingers are always fitting good enough into those eyes of the scissors. Those shears are great for cutting normal fabrics. They have a heavy weight to it and they are also already a little bit of micro serrated. Those here are my thread nippers. Any time you are sewing you have loose threads and you will always be cutting those. Those are also from the same store and from the same brand where I got this shear. So yeah, they are good enough for most of the, of the threads I use. Um, but I could use some better quality ones in the future. This is a very small scissor for cutting threads, opening seams and generally application. They come in handy if you are doing very tiny appliques or in case you have to cut open a buttonhole or something like that. Those are all of the Proton line by Robuso. They thought about how to, to cut very technical fabrics like Dyneema, Kevlar, carbon fiber, fiberglass and they used, uh, use a micro serrated blade so you have a very tiny te teeth at the, um, at the cutting edge of the fabric shears so they really grip the fabric and hold it in place while you are cutting. I talked with a company specifically about these. First, they are black and secondly, those here are coated with a special material. On the Rockwell scale, they are about 1200 of hardness compared to the normal 58, 59, 60 Rockwell. Um, the effect, however, does lose effect over time because the more you have to resharpen those shears the less of the coating will be left on the surface of the of the cutting edge so obviously after four five six resharpenings they will lose their cutting edge about the other shears in my opinion for someone like me those shears are the best quality that i could get and those are optimal for every now and then, but not always all the time using those materials. These shears are special for webbing. They have a very short blade and a very long handle, so you have to can get, apply very much force on your cutting. And for smaller applications, there's also a smaller one available. They sent me this as well. 
if you take just a normal paper scissors it doesn't really cut the polyester at all. The same should be true for this one. It's a little bit better because this scissors is way newer than the other one. But in the area where I've already cut some more materials, it doesn't really cut anymore. It... Dyneema, no chance. This, these shears cut through polyester webbing relatively easy, but they start to get some problems with Dyneema. On the other hand side, if you're taking the Roboso proton shears, um, they really grip the fabric and yeah, this longer one has some problems if you're getting to the midsection of the shears. But then again, if you take those ones, not a problem at all. Um, because the, the, the cutting edges of this shear are way shorter than the other ones, the fabric tends to slip a little bit through the shears. So you might get somewhat a little bit wonky edges. The smaller ones, they are also without any real problem through this material, even if it's webbing. Webbing is notoriously hard to cut. Let's talk fabrics. This here is an old pair of denim. If I take my normal paper scissors. No, they can't really cut fabric. Um, those ones are already manageable. So those are pretty good. And of course, if you take those higher quality scissors, there's not a problem at all. They cut through this. The, the bending here can sometimes happen if you have a very, very thick edge. Of course, if you have very thick parts in your fabric, you can use some some webbing shears and they cut through this easily. Let's test some technical fabrics. This is a silicone coated nylon. Cheaper shears can pose some problems because if you are cutting, you can see it, the fabric is sliding away. The shears are not gripping it. If you take the more expensive shears, I can pull the fabric away, but it's it's hold to the shears through some micro teeth in the in the in the shears. This is the most important part in those high quality fabric shears. They have micro serrated ed edges, so little teeth that are on the cutting edge of the of the shears that grip to your, to the fabric and then do not release it until you have cut the fabric this is x pack so a sailcloth derived material and also the cheaper fabric shears have no problem cutting it but they can slip away but if you take the higher quality shears, the fabric doesn't slip away. So you can really get very, very fine cuts in the fabric. Now onto the special materials. This here is Kevlar, but Kevlar coated with a silicone layer. So it is very non-slippery um, and should be cuttable with those normal tailoring shears. Ah, no, not so great. They can do something, but 
It fails after a moment. Kevlar is very hard to cut. Those shears, however, absolutely no problem. No problem at all. I'll just snip it. This fabric is really thick, but even the small scissors don't have any problem cutting this. Robuso also provided me with some extra special fabrics. So this here is some carbon fiber weave. This is a mix of carbon fiber and fiberglass and this is Kevlar. We can't do anything with our household scissors here. Even if I take my better quality previous shears, they have no chance in gripping this material. You can't cut Kevlar with the normal tailoring shears. They have to be specially manufactured for this reason. Even those, if you don't put any tension on the fabric, it can be a little bit loose. You get a relatively clear cut if you do it right. You need a little bit of practice. Also, those have already fallen down from my table once. If we do it with those, who have not suffered any damage re yet, you have a very, very clear cut. The same thing goes for the webbing shears. Let's try the carbon fiber. Those are very, very messy, those carbon fiber weaves, because carbon fiber easily breaks, not under tension load, but if you if you do it this way, then the fiber already breaks. Um, obviously, if you take a normal shears, they are they are able to to cut carbon fiber, but not very good. You have a very messy cut here. If you take the normal standard scissors. It's also, it's okay, it's possible. And then if you take those, which are manufactured extra for those kinds of fabric, it may not look like a really big difference. You can see that here some fabric strands, some fibers are loose, and here there's no loose fibers. But those feel really different. And also cutting tests of fiberglass carbon fiber weave. Also, these feel way snappier, way more grippy to the fabric. But then again, you can also cut fiberglass and carbon fiber with normal standard sewing shears.